I'm Catherine Janeway, your training advisor. I'm a hologram based on one of the most decorated captains in Starfleet history, programmed to assist the Protostar's crew on their journey back to Federation space. Ugh, she's hideous. Why is her forehead so smooth? Ugh. You're no summer peach either, Tellerite. <laughs> Well, the pitch came from directly from Alex Kurtzman. And that alone was a very compelling. He's a man of great intelligence and vision. I have a, nothing but the highest regard for him. Uh, my hesitation was a, a nostalgic one more than anything else. Live Janeway belonged to my memory and she resonated that way. So I didn't know if I could do this shift with the kind of uh, subtle facility that it would require. But of course I could, and I did. And when I understood that this would be an, all, an entirely new demographic, and one that we had not wholeheartedly embraced in the world of Star Trek uh, before this, of course I, I accepted with, with great pleasure. And it's been that ever since. I think she's the perfect blend. I mean, we, we don't want it, we don't want Keystone cops, so to speak, of like kids mess up and, and their uh, their misgivings are forgiven. Um, Janeway's going to tell it to them straight, you know, which is what they need. Uh, not not just emotionally, but to survive in space. You know, you can't be making certain mistakes. And the kids are gonna make a lot of mistakes, so. Yeah, but she's always there supporting them, which is beautiful. She has warmth, she has humor, she has uh, vivacity, she has layers. Uh, she has a depth that they respect, uh, and she um, treats them very much as her as her equal, even though she is guiding them and she is teaching them. She's looking at them squarely. It's a collaborative effort, and that's, of course, uh, inherent Janeway. I'm in command of this ship. Uh -huh. I mean, it's, it's his entire arc, season one, is trying to figure out who he is. And, you know, when you know who you are, and you realize the strengths of, of, of what you have, your facility, what you sort of have been given, um, it instills pride and confidence. And you know your strengths and you can play to them and you can uh, be more aware and assured in yourself. And um, what better person to be uh, thrust into the position of leadership than someone who needs to work on those insecurities. What's say Fredder? Frederation? Well, to begin with, she's um, this little girl, actually. Um, later on, um, I think that we discovered that Rock Chalk is actually very, very smart. Um, she wants to become more than just a security guard. And she wants to become more successful in what she loves to do best, like science and all these things that she knows that most of the people her age don't know. And I think that she starts finding that that's her passion and that's what she loves to do. Where's your captain? Right here, I am the captain. She always has these sort of little moments of questioning, you know, is this right? It is this right? Because she knows that it's not. You know, you know when you know it deep down and it's difficult when you're doubting yourself and you're surrounded by that environment and you have your whole future laid out for you like that. But when she's kidnapped against her will by these motley hoodlums, and then she's taken onto this thing and she's given the opportunity to act her age for once. And, and I think that allows her to like be silly and make mistakes and, you know, enjoy herself. And that's, uh, it's a really sweet little storyline actually to watch her come out of her shell a little bit. I'm only here to offer advice and maintain the Protostar's lower level functions. Well, I, if Dal is being particularly petulant or stubborn, I can just disappear. And I do. And uh, that is this hologram Janeway's way of saying, you're going to have to deal with this yourself and learn that uh, a collaboration is two people listening to each other and working together. That's what she's really trying to, to do, to implement in this first three or four episodes how they must learn to work together. And, you know, young people, as they develop their confidence and their egos are coming into maturity, very often just want to strike off alone. So she's allowing all of that, much as you would allow the child to fall, the child to get hurt, stand up again and dust itself off. 
and she watches, but she moves in swiftly and quickly when it's truly perilous. <laughs> I've seen my share of wayward crews, and I can tell you this, you've got potential. <laughs>